And we're back. This is take two because take one just completely deleted. We're Dana. I'm Joe. <laughs> this is the like third time we've done that. I'm Dana. Joe from Dana, Joe & Co. Where uh, we yeah. help photographers grow their business one video at a time. And today's topic, we are going to be talking about our post-wedding workflow. So yes. this is part three of a three-part series. <clears throat> part one was what is a workflow? What Why do you it? need it? What do you uh, do? What it, what's it for? I'm just going to not talk. <laughs> yeah. And then part two was our pre-wedding workflow. So mm -hmm. what we do prior to our wedding. And then this is going to be post-wedding. So what we do after, after the, wedding. the wedding. Now, if you're listening to this, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, you're not, you don't have the ability to write notes or anything. We're actually going to leave a link. So look, mm -hmm. check out the description above or below and go ahead and download our actual workflow. And if it's not um, there and you want it, just reach out. Yeah. We'll so, send it to you. We'll get it sent over to you. So please, please, please check that out. Let us know your thoughts. Um, and that's all I got for that. I keep looking at the wrong side. Yeah. So yeah. let's dive in. Cool. All right. So we just got done our wedding. We are full of in and out Burger because that's our favorite thing to do after a wedding. Mm -hmm. We go home. We're super exhausted, but there's one thing that we need to do. Sneak peeks. So we typically know what photos we want to get to the couple throughout the day. We remember those memorable moments. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we pick a card, we get it loaded up in the Lightroom and we'll edit anywhere from two to four photos. And we try to get that out to the couple the night of the wedding. Obviously there's some extenuating circumstances. You may get it the next day, but we really try to wow them and get it to them the same <laughs> night. What? Take a breath. <laughs> Woosa. <laughs> My turn. All okay. Right. Um, if we are traveling or if we are not able to get them because say we'll be home until like midnight or one o'clock, we do bring the computer with us at times and we will get sneak peeks while we are at the wedding before we leave. So that is also an option. All right. We load photos. Yep. Point blank. We load photos immediately. We do not wait on them. We do not leave the images on the card because you do not want a compact flash to go corrupt or fail. And so number one goal is to get the images off the card immediately. Yep. So we get the images off and backed up as soon as we possibly can. Uh, we also have a bunch of little kids and it scares the little daylights out of me oh, that yeah. they are going to take a card and do something with it. So I immediately get those photos onto a computer as fast mm -hmm. as we possibly can. Uh, so I usually do that the, the following day or within the two days after the wedding. Mm -hmm. And then we will begin the process of calling down the photos and editing them, and editing them which we advertise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We tell our couples to expect their photos within two months, right? Yeah. So that is the no kidding deadline we give them. Obviously we try to get it done sooner, um, but we, we begin that process. All right, your turn. <laughs> and while that is happening, while he is calling or I'm calling, we are getting the couples on the books for their reveal sessions. We actually invite all of our couples into our home and we do the reveal in literally in person with them. And so we want them to know when that is happening and we want them to have something to look forward to. So they're not like, what are my photos going to be ready? We keep them, you know, up to date on the process, but there's a date on the calendar that they can be excited about. So while that's happening, we're editing all those images and then we're getting them loaded up into shoot proof. That is what we use to deliver our galleries. And we make sure everything that um, was at the wedding was in the appropriate order and that all the photos are edited that are uploaded into the gallery as well as there's no duplicates. So we want that to be spick and span and absolutely perfect. Then what do we do? Order print. So then there's three big tasks that need to come yep. or basically happen before they come over to our house. So mm -hmm. we got the date on the calendar. Uh, we've loaded the photos, they're edited. Now there's uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, uh, we do what's a product. <laughs> <laughs> Holy word vomit. <laughs> I'm like, you just repeated everything I just said. <laughs> <sighs> Guys. I, I hope you enjoy this channel, not just for education, but for entertainment purposes. <laughs> but, okay, so. No, here, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right? Okay. So what we do. <laughs> so what we do is we actually order photos. We order prints. Um, so when they come over for the photo reveal, we actually give them a, a glass box with prints inside of it and also a USB with their mm -hmm. photos. So this is a gift that they don't know about. It's completely unexpected. So I know the week of, I have to get those photos delivered yeah. so that I can uh, look them over, make sure everything looks good. And then the other thing that I'm doing as well is all of our couples actually get uh, an album in their collection. So I'll sit down and I'll create a proof of their album and I'll make sure that is all ready to go. 
And then Dana's gonna create the last piece. And then I create the reveal video. So I take photos that he's picked out that he's putting in the album, because not all of them fit in the album, but I know that they're highlighted and um, really good, like those wow images. So I put those into a reveal video that I'm going to show them at the reveal party. 100%. So we'll make sure we get those. Yeah. Three big tests that we need to get done. We can make sure that those are all complete prior to them coming over. Mm -hmm. They're going to come over. They're going to sit down. We're going to have champagne. We're going to have a good time. Popcorn. Uh, they're going to watch the reveal video. And we're going to go through and design their album. Mm -hmm. Now, the goal of this is to essentially kind of do like an in-person sales session. But also, we want to make sure that they finalize their album. I don't know why she's laughing so much. <laughs> so... We're gonna finalize that. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. You can't make this stuff up. Yeah. So we're gonna finalize the album, and essentially, what um, what's gonna happen there is we're gonna walk through page by page, and then um, we're gonna give them their photos, and then they're gonna leave, and then we're gonna send them a immediately send them an email, and in that email, we're gonna say, hey, here's a link to your gallery. Here's how to access it and share it with all your friends mm -hmm. and family. Um, please. If, if there's any changes that need to be made to the album, I give them instructions on how to do that. Um, and then we basically, that's basically the final cherry on top for that, so. So prior to that, if it's a couple that is like oohing and on and they're just super excited oh, yeah. and it's one that I think would be a good review on video, I do ask if I can uh, record a that's video true. review. Yep. It doesn't happen with every couple, you kind of have to feel it as you go with it, but I do try to, after every session, um, after every reveal session, ask for a video review before they leave as well. So. Absolutely. But in that email, when we shoot it out, we also add a Google Doc review or mm -hmm. Google Doc form that they fill out. And it's like basically a post session form. It has all the vendors, Instagrams, all the vendors, emails, just so that way if we missed anybody, you know, on session day when we were like tagging and things like that, I want everybody there for the blog. So that way I can put them into it. And there's also questions like, why did you choose these, choose these colors for your wedding? Why did you pick this venue? Um, we want them to create the words for us so we're not hung up when we do create the blog on what we should say and it's something that we think our readers would want to read. So if you're stuck on blogging and you just don't feel like you're blogging in enough sessions, <clears throat> this Google form has saved us a lot because now we don't have to think about words. We just, we blog the photos and then we use their own words to go ahead and create the blog post. So that Google form really saves us a lot and then it also gives us the ability to tag those vendors on and highlight them on Instagram. Because Instagram. we're going to keep promoting that wedding. You know, absolutely. And also link to them um, via um, the blog post as well. So yes. we can link out to their websites, things like that. And, and then build, we can send them the gallery as well. So build vendor relationships. Have so. access to their images. <clears throat> so uh, all that stuff. So once the album's finalized, I get the album in. I'm going to look it over, make sure it all looks good. And then we're going to package it up. We're going to send it out to them. So mm -hmm. that's the final product delivery. And then after that, the rest of it is just promotion and social media. So mm -hmm. we're going to get the blog post created and publish we're going to promote that on our facebook business page on our instagram accounts and then we actually post a reveal video on youtube as well uh, and what's great about that is it gives us the opportunity to integrate video into some of our marketing uh, let people kind of see like what a wedding looks like what it's like working with us uh, and then after that once we finalize all of those things the last step that i do is i actually add a couple to uh, our email list so i have an email list of all of our past couples and something that I want to add to our workflow this year is essentially I want to reach out to them on their anniversary, see how they're doing and see if there's anything that they would like to purchase. Um, maybe they want, you know, a wall print. Maybe they want another album. Maybe they want more just prints in general. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to add their date to the Google Calendar so that it reminds us. So it just sends me an alert, you know, on our Google Calendar. I don't have to remember every single year, but it'll remind us for us. Um, but that will be the final, basically the final task. Yeah, pretty much. And that is And that's it. That's our post-wedding workflow. workflow. So, like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can actually download this. It'll be to our pre-wedding and post-wedding workflow mm -hmm. so that you guys can access that, kind of cross-compare notes, see, see if we're doing anything better or um, maybe you're doing something better. But if you guys have a workflow, you're just absolutely crushing it, please leave it Share down it. below. Share it. Let other Sharing photographers see caring. what you guys are doing. Obviously, we're, we're wedding photographers, but you know, what's your workflow for a newborn session or a family yeah. session? Like, everybody could use a workflow. 
Everybody could. So yep. if you're not a part of it, come join the Booking Lab where we offer out of the box techniques, marketing techniques. Free to Facebook business. group. Free Facebook group. So just come join the community. Give us a subscribe. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, comment below. We appreciate you guys. Thanks guys. Have Bye. a fantastic day. Bye.